Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Ogrodnik and I'm a member of McMaster's NeuroFit Lab. Have you ever tried to pay attention to a long presentation, but despite your best efforts, you can't help but thinking about that delicious sandwich you just had for lunch, or perhaps that never-ending to-do list that you just need to accomplish? This is mind-wandering, and if you find your mind wanders, you're definitely not the only one. University students can spend almost half their time in class mind-wandering. And as you can imagine, this significantly hinders learning. And so as researchers, we need to develop some sort of interventional strategy to help students stay on task. And exercise may just be the answer. What do you think of when you hear exercise? If you're like most, perhaps the physical benefits. But I argue that the benefits of exercise extend beyond the gym. Exercise can help improve your ability to pay attention, improve your memory, and improve your capacity to learn. In our first study, we showed that three five-minute exercise breaks during an online lecture dramatically reduced the amount of mind-wandering reported by participants compared to those who did not take a break. Participants who exercised additionally had higher quiz scores than those who did not, both immediately after learning and two days later. And so, we want to know, was it specifically exercise that boosted academic performance? Or was it the fact that they just took a break? And so another group of participants watched the same online lecture, did three five-minute breaks, but instead of exercising, they played computer games. Results showed that computer games did not help, suggesting that there is something inherent about exercise that can boost academic performance. But there's still work to be done. What I want to know is one, how intense do these exercise breaks need to be to show academic improvement? And two, how many breaks are required to show a real learning benefit? Answering these questions will help us create refined, feasible exercise prescriptions for teachers, school boards, and universities. As we continue to refine these guidelines based in research, one thing seems certain. In order to improve academic success, Students need to sweat so they don't forget. Thank you.